off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I am getting ready at the red old time of 7.41. Can you see that? <laughs> I've been awake for hours, not wanting to admit that I should have just gotten up, tried to sleep. I have my pre-op appointment today, and I am so nervous. If you are new here, we're having the ladies lifted, reduced, put into the right place, as my doctor says. And I'm nervous. Do you guys get like so restless at night, the night before like an event or an appointment or something that you can't actually sleep very well? <laughs> that is me right now. This actually is also Jason. He must have, um, I don't know, he's been hiking a lot lately. Like every day off he has, he's been trying to go hiking. And then last night he played pickleball. <laughs> Yes, we've reached the age where we're playing pickleball with our friends. Um, actually, I've never played it. I want to. Our friends have a set and we want to meet to go play. But he played with a bunch of guys last night and his legs were spasming, <laughs> he said. So he went downstairs to have banana and get some breakfast and probably do some work um, before this appointment of mine. What I need to do, and I made a list at two in the morning I forgot to do all this stuff yesterday. I totally had time yesterday. I did nothing yesterday. I did nothing yesterday. But I need to go down and um, check which credit card I'm putting all this on. <laughs> to be fair, we opened up a care credit, a medical credit card um, for a majority of the surgery that I'm about to have. And then, and I will pay that off interest-free for the next 12 months. I'm hoping to pay more down every month than, than my payment amount is so that I can pay it off sooner. Um, but time will tell. And then the other portion I have cash for, I'll show you downstairs. I have the actual cash for, let's go do that. I'll show you, I'll prove to you that I can actually pay for this. First to turn this back on and turn it around to start cooling off out here because we had this sucker on all night last night and never once wanted to have it turned off starting to get warm around here let the kids have this air all right here she is you guys think i'm kidding when i say i saved the cash <laughs> i saved the cash that is what i have saved up so far it's a couple over a 5,000 I think this is the extra over 5,000 so yeah that's what I've got so now I need to find what credit card we're gonna put this on and then in 30 days I'm gonna pay it off because if I put it on the right Hawaiian card that's gonna get me like a plane ticket <laughs> I have the cash we have the credit so take advantage of those points. I could put it on his Amex. I could put it on my Costco card and get the rewards back on it. My Costco um, credit limit is like super high. Um, we never hit that. So I could put it on that and get the reward cash back. But the Hawaiian miles are harder to earn. Um, for whatever reason, it takes longer to like process the miles and you know, so. I'm going to hurry and get that and find out. We have two different uh, Hawaiian credit cards. So I'm going to find out the balance on that really quick and find out which one I can put it on and then tell Jason not to put anything on it himself. <laughs> he puts business on it as well. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick. You can't, you can't join me for that part. Okay, we figured out which Hawaiian Airlines credit card has the most available balance to um, apply toward being quiet because everyone's asleep. All right, so one thing I noticed right as I was checking out of my Hawaiian um, credit card account was that I have a referral oh. link I can send to you guys. If you guys are thinking about signing up for the Hawaiian credit card, um, you can click that link that I have down below in the description and uh, see if 
you want to sign up for one. We're earning miles to hopefully, yes, I know my door's open. Oh, we are earning miles um, at a fairly rapid rate. And so we're hoping to have six, oh, we are hoping to have six plane tickets for free by the time we get to our, our Hawaii trips trip next year. <laughs> I only said one trip. Trip. <laughs> it's just Pavlovian. <laughs> yeah, it was just a little slip. Slip of the tongue. Um, but we are headed out. Um, yeah, we are early, but I'm nervous, so I'd rather just get there. Um, and yeah, so I'm just nervous. I don't know why. I think, I mean, this is like He's doing the measurements. We're making sure we're on the same page. I just want to make sure I reiterate to him, I want to be smaller. I want them to be in the right place, but I also want to be smaller. So I just, I wanted to, I just like, I'm terrified of like waking up from surgery and be like, oh great, they're still here. Like they're still up and they're large and you know. So I think he understands that, but I just want to reiterate with that, that with him. And then Jason comes to, Make sure he understands the post-op um, procedure and how to take care of me in the drain while I'm loopy and then um, just kind of my general care for the next week or so so <sighs> just nervous just checked in with the nurse and um, they did my blood pressure and I have been telling my endocrinologist that she's the one who stresses me out and my blood pressure goes up when I visit her I'm at a pre-op appointment for surgery and my blood pressure is just fine. I get, don't, I donate blood every eight weeks. My blood pressure is just fine. <laughs> Everywhere I go, my blood pressure is just fine, except when I go and visit my, my endocrinologist. So I think it's her problem, not mine. <laughs> anyway, I'm just sitting here. I'm nervous, not going to lie, but, um, I just to know what you need. Yeah. So, I mean, like surgery. Yeah. So, we'll t meet with the doctor. Um, they said I may not have to um, get undressed. He might want to do measurements, but we've already done photos. So, that little gown might not be, need to be used. So, we'll see. All right. We just finished one. I want to know what your reaction is. Well, this is my very first appointment. So yeah. I, it's, you know, I'm not as up to speed as you are. Right. So it's, you know, a little nerve wracking, but they, yeah, they like know and it's smooth and they got good communication. Mm -hmm. um, explain things really well, which I think is super important. Most doctors need to learn. That's the skill they need to learn is how to explain things to patients. Yes. And super would important. you agree that he was really good with that? It seems like it. It seems like he knew you. It seems like he was at the conversations and figured out what you want. Mm -hmm. Um talked about all the different issues that may come up right um, yeah it wasn't like he didn't know who you were and he's just looking at this thing again to remember yeah no he definitely like remember me and like my story and like n you know the lost weight and all that kind of stuff so and I'm excited it's just it's nerve-wracking because like we paid and you know we had to put things on credit no, it's cards official. it's official we actually still have to pay the anesthesiology company they work out of the hospital across the street. And so their company bills you separately. So I still have to pay for that portion of it, but they'll be calling me to get the number for it. And then as soon as that bill comes in the mail, not in the mail, as soon as I get the statement next month, I will pay that with my cash. And the lady was like, ooh, Hawaiian points. All right, you guys know what you're doing. And so that was good. Okay, so everything I was nervous about, um, I was able to talk to him about he said, what is your biggest fear? And I told him waking up and still being large. And he was like, okay, fantastic. I'm glad you're like being open about that. So we talked about that okay. and like, he's like, you know, when I'm in surgery and I know that from you having that conversation when I'm doing the procedure, he's like, would, would she want me to take out a little bit more from this section? Yeah, she probably would. And so he was like, that's really helpful for me. Cause you know, he's like, what's big to you might be different than me and so it helps for him to like have that conversation we will do final measurements the day of my surgery um he'll mark everything and put everything right where they need to go and then um how far was the surgery it, it, well i can't tell them because i like to keep things a little private 
that's fine. Um, it's soon. It's in a few weeks. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Um, okay. And yeah, the right, recovery, right, right. I will say, the recovery is exactly what I thought it was for the most part. I knew it's going to take a couple weeks to fully recover and be but able to lift my drive. arms. You just gave it away. I was going to say, <laughs> like, the biggest thing that I did not know is that I cannot drive for two weeks. You really got to limit your arm. I didn't know that. I mean, I just assumed, yeah, the first week I'm not going to feel like it, but I literally have things on the calendar the second week, like a week after the yeah. surgery. My bet is that other person you know that you've talked with a lot about this, uh, they overdid it I'm, too fast. I'm betting they overdid it. Yeah. yeah. The person I know who has done this surgery overdid it. I guarantee you. Yeah. The, just knowing the, her personality, I know she overdid it. Bless your heart. I just know you. So you got to take Luckily, your... I have, I mean, you'll have to go to work the next day, but you'll be off a few days later and then you'll have the weekend. Um, Kaylee has her license, obviously, and so she's going to have, I'm going to have to step it up for, with her. And we've already made the arrangement, right? I I can do laundry. You're just not going to have to be zip tight if it's on the right hanger or not. Yeah, he told me I can't actually do laundry. I can't bend over. I can't reach into yeah, the yeah, laundry. Yeah, you're lifting, you're doing stuff. I don't, yeah. So I will have it all ready to go. It will be done. And then. This is going to be the hardest part of it all. <laughs> Looking at it and realizing it's on a blue hanger. Right I know, a, but you light, know what? I'm gonna light, uh, you know aqua one and stop, realize. stop right now. <laughs> You're being a douche. <laughs> and um, no, I'm gonna have Keely and Abby do their own laundry, and you can mess up your own laundry if you want. And I'll probably be wearing the same few shirts and and some uh, biker shorts, so I probably won't have very much laundry myself. So you can mess it up yourself you or know do, you should it. know your own hanger color or do it's it right no you won't do it right so <laughs> <laughs> right as in uh, yes right is it right there's only one <laughs> way to anyway um the ironic thing is with the whole driving thing is that abby can get her driver's license well i don't know if i should say the dates very close to when I can actually start driving again. Ironically, she will actually be able to get her driver's license. <laughs> but she won't in the two weeks that I need to recover and not be able to drive. So the good thing is that once I'm feeling well and I'm up and I'm walking and I'm, you know, like not like loopy on meds and, and really recovering the first three days, when I do need to go somewhere or do something, um, I will have Abby drive and then I can be in the car, obviously, because that's the way she can legally drive. And then if like, if they need to run into Target or I need to do a Target pickup order or something for last minute things that we need, then she can drive us there, either do the pickup order, she can go inside and get stuff and come back out and drive us home. So there is like that kind of a thing. Um, Ashley has a little kids camp that she has planned. So I have to coordinate that schedule to have Abby go with me to drop her off or have Kaylee take her and then pick her back up. So I've got to coordinate that because I just, I had planned the camp for Ashley to do knowing she'd need something to do, but I just didn't realize I wouldn't be able to take her there. <laughs> so that's something that I just need to like coordinate all that. But other than that, I'm very excited to actually just have the surgery. I just want to like, I want to be at that date. We also don't know what time of day it is. This is one of that till the day before. Yeah, they did say that like this is their longest surgery for the day, and so that's a really good shot at me being the first one on their schedule. I gotta figure out what uh, I'm gonna do for all that time. Yeah, because he's not really allowed to leave. Like they're like you're just gonna sit here in the parking lot. No, no, no. no. They said go oh. go play golf or something. She said go play golf. She said I don't go do something, play golf or whatever while you wait. You're not gonna go do that. Of course I'm not gonna play golf. But I don't want you driving all the way back home in case something happens. No, I know. There's a whole mall around here. I don't know. So I got to figure out yeah. what to do. He's got to occupy his time. <laughs> you have you have this, my friend. You have... I can't you can sit watch out here for movies. five hours. No. <laughs> but you can go get breakfast and like sit there for a little bit and then... If it's early in the morning like they're saying, I could sleep in the car for a while. Yeah, you'll probably want to. Because if I have a 7.30 time, I need to be here at 6.30, which means we need to leave home... You know, a good hour, That's half hour traffic. before that. That's traffic time. For, for so it'll be an early morning if we get the first slot. But it's all kind of crazy. I'm very excited. Hey, we're back at home, and while I'm showing Chelsea how to do laundry, so she can do her own load, 
Jason is taking the task of cleaning our house and getting it ready for mom to not be doing work. <laughs> Very seriously, he is cleaning the carpets down here. We have the air on full blast um, in general because it's get, starting to get hot outside. So it's the perfect time to just go ahead and clean the carpets. Kids are in their bedrooms anyway. Um, so we're going to get them all cleaned up um, and have a clean house for when I'm doing nothing. Correct? Yes. For when you're relaxing. When I'm recovering. 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 After a few days, yeah. Took a nap at home. Jason's currently at home taking a nap. Um, I am picking up some, uh, what do you call it? Post-surgery outfits. Can you see that this one is like a little button-up uh, pajama set, 20 bucks. I have a short sleeve sweatshirt zip-up that I'm gonna get on Amazon too. It's like 15. But we're here at um, Target. To get my actual meds, my surgery meds, they're all at the pharmacy. Um, is this for the movie? Yeah. Are you sharing this with Chelsea? No. So are you going to get her a treat too? Should we get her something? Um, we're going to go see, what is it called? Elemental? The elements. No, it's elemental. Yes, it's elements. Elements? Because it's not, yeah. We're going to go see that tonight. In fact, I need to like check the time here. I really want we need to leave for that in an hour. I know, now that we've seen the one that Jacob gave Kaylee, I actually do want that one. But I actually like, I don't want the orchid one, I want the birds of prey. Or that one is different right there. I'm like, I'm like, that one is really cool. Well you could buy it. It's $50. There's, there's $60. Dude, you just got paid for Daisy Daycare. You made a lot of money. Let's think about it though. Except we don't I've need been to... thinking about it for ages. I'm... I know, it's we don't want to make magic. rash decisions. Um, but those would be actually something kind of cool to get. These are all the succulent then, ones. You get the shelf, you can put it on. Like a cool shelf to display them on. That would be kind of fun, huh? So, something to think about. But I would want to get, oh, they're right there. The Birds of Paradise, right there. That one is kind of cool. I would put that one in my office. Those are, I, I believe those are the Bells of Ireland. The blue ones, and that was what we had at our wedding. So that's kind of cool. All right, we have two sassy kids in the car with us. One right there, Chelsea Marie. I'm gonna get you, you little twit. Got her taco blanket. Yep. Ashley has a regular blanket. Yeah. And um, Dad has joined us, and we're gonna go see Elemental. And yes, it's it is. It, dude, it is. It's, it's Element. No, I'm gonna look it up. All of you just suck at pronouncing names. Just call I'm not Element. pronouncing anything. Chelsea, I'm, all, I'm all, saying all. the name of the movie. <laughs> Amanda. Okay, but that was different. Ashley, my ticket is for the movie Elemental. It's fine. Elemental. It really doesn't matter. I don't know. We know what movie we're going into. So we have, Dad has some snacks. He's got to figure out how to get that into the theater. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, Abby uh, always says, that sounds like a you problem. Yeah, he's got to get it. We've got bags and, like, sweatshirts and blankets to hide our candy in. Um, Ashley, you have, like, a drink somewhere. Do you yeah, have, did you bring it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll let you know if we like the show. It just barely came out. Um, Dad wanted to go see the new, don't tell Indiana. me, Indiana Jones. But I told him we need to do something for the kids. We'll have chances to go out at night and stuff with our friends. But they're all out of town or busy this weekend. Because it's what the fourth. What if drink just like when I put it in my blanket? What if it just fits us up and then when I open it? Yeah, that wouldn't be good. So let's not even open it to begin with. I don't sound like a you problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next we time. Don't you open and put it until on we sit yeah, down. don't open it until we get there. Okay, Ash, what did you think? Good. Yeah, a lot of funny moments, huh? Yeah. Funny innuendos. Jace, you liked it? Yep. Good show, huh? Ash or Chelsea, what about you? Oh she doesn't want to turn around. Like laughing at that. I, yeah, I, there is so many funny parts what in the you, show. What do you say normally? Like you're like Nike. No, you said you normally say something else like shoot or shiz. Yes. Yeah, I don't normally swear. And no, 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 no. You said like normally on an average basis, you say this at least like five times a day. What? I don't remember what the like word is. Is it, it like a replacement for a cuss word? Yeah. No, oh, there is something. What is yeah, it? Yeah, you do. I don't know. I forget it. 
but yeah, like no. me, Jacob, and Kaylee are saying how you act as if like it's worse than everything else. Me saying it? Well, no, it's like <laughs> just hearing you say it makes it sound like everything <laughs> else is worse because you say it like I don't know what they're talking about. <sighs> I'd have to ask which one it is. I really like the show. Um, I don't know. I love the analogies of like you know not ever excluding someone just because they're different than you. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and water. <laughs> yeah, they're not ice. Sorry. Fire and water. Um, lots of lessons to be learned. Uh, but there's just so many funny one-liners and like all the shop signs were funny and highly recommend it. Even just for adults. Like I highly recommend it. It's really, really it's cute. cute. Little film. Yeah, cute little film. Yeah. But we're going to sign off with you guys. We're going to go home wait a bit and hopefully be hungry for dinner because <laughs> that was a lot of sugar. Thanks was crap. Yeah. Um, we will see you next time. Um, nothing terribly exciting going on until the 4th of July. We will be going out to our friend's house to do fireworks um, at the farm but we'll do a lake day um, at their lake and at their house barbecue. Um, so we will see you guys. Ugh. I was just at the right distance. Either I had to punch it or slow down and fast. But he chooses to punch it. No, I slowed down. That was called slowing down. Punching it would be going forward. You punched it slowing down. You did both. That's not how you got to learn your okay. lingo. Whatever. <laughs> you did both. No, you slowed down I way slowed down. down fast. Slow down. La, 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 la. All right. Take care, you guys. See you next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.